51.1%. By the way, thanks, Cast Iron. 51% over ETC. Probius, 40%. Lower than Abba, higher than Medivh. Well, that doesn't say anything. He's different to play. Oh, it says something. He's not broken OP. Hi. He still doesn't have a thanks kid, does he? What's your opinion on Arthas? Very strong. Hungers. I'm thinking it's black hearts. Maybe I should play Gul'dan, but I always play Gul'dan here these days. Maybe I'll play Sonia. And I'll do some camps. My blades are yours. I haven't played Sonia for a while. Here's how I see it. A proper solo tank has a great way to initiate. Like power slide, condemn hook and um, impale oh, and burrow charge jam. Anub has the kit of a solo he, he was never that suitable but he has the kit of it Diablo and Arthas I mean Diablo is kind of solo tank too because he offers so much disruption even as he doesn't have an escape he can charge in with an apocalypse which forces everyone to move which means he pretty much never dies when he charges in uh, wait, what do I ban? Rag, ETC, Lucio. Guess I'll ban Sylph. Since I'm going to be doing PvE, I prefer they don't... Uh... They don't get... Um, uh, like a big push. Condemn actually can't initiate. It can and when you take it at level 7 also you can use blessed shield stitches is a proper tank yeah it just plays out differently but arthas he pretty much just walks up mounted if he uh, gets dismounted he can't really guarantee landing that howling blast oh they forgot to Greetings, so friend. mouth would be nice to my last breath I'm here to help hey super naga thanks for the reset Arthas can root to engage but disengage purely <laughs> relies on him <laughs> walking away without dying same as Kerrigan he has as much disengage as Kerrigan he's just tankier I stand ready. Uh, we probably need an auto attacker. Ranged auto attacker. Sergeant Hammer. Zuljin. Tracer. Falstaff. Falstaff would actually be pretty solid. Tychus. What? Hammer and Falstaff, I think, are the best here. Greetings, friend. Tychus can't really easily Ready attack ETC, out. right? Like, he's just gonna get power slided. 
Greetings, They're friend. so mobile. Well, thanks for the subs, ladies and gents. Gazrock, Waffle House, Ninja, and Casper Prime. Greetings, friend. Kirby, can you give any tips about Tyrande's playstyle? How much attention should you give to healing when playing her? For me, it's really hard to be an offensive and track teammates' health at the same time. Uh, in order to get comfortable with Tyrande, you need to heal immediately when it's needed, obviously. I don't know how you would not. Uh, you're, you should be three steps behind your tank. Two, three steps. Uh, maybe four once you get Lunar Blaze. And you just follow up their stun. Come. We will conquer this lot together. Uh, to follow up with Lunar Flare and Hunter's Mark. And your Owl is a reset of cooldowns, which means right after you Owl, and it can be mid fight, two seconds after the beginning of a fight, right after you Owl, you can Q again. Always. Unless you miss, obviously, but you can't miss melee Owls. Let's see, block, Warpaint, Shots of Fury. I'll go for the full AA build. Warpaint. One, two, three, four. One against Rag. Six saves, Nomi. I should have probably gone for the chest though. He gave his life for me. Yeah, fighting Rag near Minion Wife seemed bad. Oh, I don't have experience with this matchup. But he pretty much healed to full thanks to Minion Wife. So after I cleared the first wave and zoned in, I should have um, I should have gone to get the chest so at least I could fight him outside of the wave. They did warn. They freaking warned me. So. Uh, focused attack. They just warned me. It's so indefensible. Your death has come. They're all missing, so... They could be on me, but they're not. I will not be denied. This way. A proud Sword. victory. A proud victory. I see one on the map, that means one is missing, probably gas on the camp. This way. Oh there he is. None may stand against me. Uh, Vala and Lucy are missing. There they are. 
I suggest we take this mercenary camp. Okay. I got follow through. I am without equal. Full AA. This way. Got Vala. This way. Oh, <laughs> Rag is angry. Assist our ally. Oh shit. Done. Let's skip the treasure hunt. Can I get there on time? Is that a kill? I think it is. Good job. Nice blast. Is this Gaslow? Yeah, he got it. Direct my fury. XP is good. I acted on information that I might be needed there, which did make me not very efficient in the last few seconds, but the information changed. Leap or wrath? Should be wrath. A blessing. Feel the fury of fire. Make way. Health returns. I don't think we wanted to take this fight. This god ancestral. Very impressive. That ancestral doesn't happen. We lose the fight. It happens, we win the fight. That's the exciting part about Rhaegar, but sometimes the infuriating part, isn't it? Your death has come. Let's get on with it. Nice zoning by Arthas with his last little bit of HP. I don't think we should try to pay. I suggest we take this mercenary camp. It's too obvious. Direct They're coming already, door. in fact. Even this siege camp is risky. Your death has come. I'll just take this so it's faster. Let's get on with it. Okay. We're up talent, well so we could done. defend here. Uh, not a lot of stuns, just some. So I could do life funnel. But... Yeah, I'll get life funnel. No, I get spell shield. And I'll turn it on at the right time. 
Hopefully. I need to have my spear so I can interrupt Moshpit again. Oh, I don't like that positioning at all. It's really bad. <laughs> I think I did right not going in. There was really nothing to be done there. I just hope Arthur lives. Here he died. Don't ask us to follow you there, Arthas. I will crush you. Well done. Oh, like we finally lost Rhaegar as well. Yeah. Gaza is still tall. None may stand against you. Forward. <laughs> yes, that's the the same lesson every Arthas is learning right now. It's like, oh shit, we actually can't engage into them like this. We have to let them come to us. I had the same moment, the same thing earlier today. We can pay again. I will crush you. Well done. I mean, we have a lot to lose. So many abilities. That one is late. We could have turned, but one, Hammer wasn't here, and two, they used all their stuff. Even so, if Ancestral hit, we could still be fine. I will not be Pretty handily behind now. <laughs> they need one coin and they can't get it. Uh, at the moment at least. Your death has come. This way. Uh, no escape, Nurse is still imposing. I, I get no escape. I am forced to retreat. Well yes, one done. of them is paying, the rest is pushing. Your death has come. 
It's risky, but it's worth it. Because otherwise, our pay will just be wasted. At least some. Come on, bit more, bit more. Oh, it's safe, I guess. Just be able to end off with this. That's what I like to see. Nice catch. Because the cannonballs were gonna blow up Botford and the enemy clung on to a vestige of safety. You saw Vala still at the Botford. You know that's gonna go away soon. It's like she was staying, but the tide is coming in. And so I wanted to catch them to get this opportunity to make a big play and Actually, it was very risky because I jumped in 1v2 because the rest wasn't with me yet. And then I thought I was gonna die. But Spell Shield was still there. So the first match didn't do much, it didn't center me. We got the kill, the interrupt on Mosh, and from there on... He had no power slide, no Mosh, so suddenly ETC is a sitting duck. Got a nice, nice return. Interesting boss call too by Nomi, I, I think it was nice. We gave them a pay but it didn't get a keep and then we got the boss which created the distraction which gave us part of a fort then a pay it was probably so much safer than going for the pay or some kind of passive play it was very nice he went for frost presence icebound frozen wastes shattered armor and remorseless winter and i had full auto with no escape and spell shield Nice game. Why are you guys team fighting in a PvE map? <laughs> it's a great question. <laughs> we just destroyed them and I don't know how. 